Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Andra. I make commentary videos on current events and media and today's video is kind of a continuation of what I promised I will do. So this is kind of a free parter. The first video is the history of commentary channels which I have made in the form of like a video essay. And then this is second or third part, I don't know which order I'm gonna put this in yet. Um, it's channels on YouTube that I do like, most of which are commentary but not exclusively commentary. And the other part is kind of being transparent on like the journey of my channel and like what I have been deciding um, on, you know, like deleting or changing. Um, so if this is the first video you're watching, then maybe it would be good to like watch something else before because it's a bit like random to just watch like, you know, channels that a person you don't know likes, but I do appreciate you being here nonetheless. Um, so let's get started. So I have the channels here with like, honestly, no particular order, like most of the first ones are commentary, so if you see that I, I'm not subscribed or like haven't watched any of the videos, I'm just not signed in onto my account because I use a different account to like actually watch the videos. I don't use my constant uploading um, account, so that's like the reason why you're not gonna see my watch history, um, but I did watch a lot of videos on this channel, so I'm gonna even elaborate on like what videos I like from them. So first off, got Jordan Teresa. Her channel is um, commentary, mostly political commentary, but not always. Like she comments a lot on like reality TV, but I have started watching her because of the political commentary, which I really like. So my favorite video from her, um, or rather video duo, is like this one about the working class. Cause it discusses a lot of issues that I think are like relevant to me as well as like this one normalization of xenophobia in the UK because I am part of the targeted groups for xenophobia in the UK. I'm Romanian, I live in the UK. Um, Romanian and Polish people I think have had it worse um, when it comes to Brexit. Not like xenophobia in general but like just Brexit related xenophobia. We were like the main targets let's say. And um, this one is like a continuation to that. It's like really, really good videos. Um, I have even like commented on this one. And I've got some shit for like saying that I don't think it's okay for Romanians to be called the G-slur. Um, I think people misunderstood that into me thinking that being a Romani person is like an insult. No, it's not. I think uh, Romani people shouldn't be called the G-slur either. I just think it's like, it's a slur. It shouldn't be used. You should call them Romani. And they are like a beautiful people of beautiful culture. And like, I think it's so ignorant that like, I was told um, to like, you know, I'm xenophobic, I hate Romani people. What? How can I hate Romani people? I don't talk about my ancestry a lot on the channel. I have like vaguely mentioned it. Um, my family is like quite mixed, and uh, there are like parts of my family which might have Romani ancestry, but I haven't had this confirmed yet. It's uh, a lot of like circumstantial evidence. Let's say I haven't had this confirmed by anybody, so I don't want to come here and say I'm Romani because I definitely don't know for sure when I do find out because I want to you know, like, take DNA tests and, like, kind of validate this. Um, I'm still not gonna claim the identity completely, because it doesn't feel right, because I think being Romani is, like, part of, you know, the culture and, like, how you're raised. I think it's more complex than, like, just DNA. So I'm not going to, like, fully claim it, but I will talk about it, because I think it's important to, like, not be ashamed or something like that, because it's just a beautiful culture that's been villainized for so long. And, yeah, the fact that, like, I commented on this about xenophobia, and like, I, I got told, like, you're a bad person who hate Romani, what the hell? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, she makes like a lot of like commentary videos, like I said, on like politics. Um, I really like, like her, her daddy and mommy issues videos as well. Because I happen to have a bit of both, not like excessive. Um, I talked about this, about We Were What. I talked about her on my channel as well, so I think it's cool to see somebody else talking about it. And also, this isn't like an insane video, the um, one about the Prince Harry reality show is like insane. I don't know how this is like possible, this TV show existed. Really weird. Next up, another British political commentary channel, Tara Mooney. She is, well, she's Irish, I believe, but she lives in London, I think. So I guess that counts as a British channel. Although like, I love my Irish peers and I don't want them to, f I want other people to feel like I'm like mixing them with like their historical persons, let's say. Uh, but yeah, she's, she's Irish living in the UK. Um, I like this video about the media's obsession with the royal family because, well, I live here, like I said, so I see a lot of it. And, like, I've seen most of her videos, 
The pickup artist ones I find funny, but like it's not exactly um, something that like I watch on the regular just because they're so annoying. The pickup artists like ugh, they make my blood boil. And the classic Abby video is funny, like this one as well. Um, I mean, to be honest, I, I watch like a lot of her videos. I think I've seen probably all of them here. The heterofatalism one is good. She also has a podcast, which is really good. Um, even Jordan Teresa, like who I was talking about before, was on her podcast, so that's cool. Next up, Ray Duclair, commentary channel as well. Um, mostly short form videos. She exposes a lot of problematic people, a lot of predatory people on the internet. She exposes a lot of, um, let's call them PDF files, because I can't say the word. I think Julia is like a very, very good role model for teenagers, especially, because she's so open about her mental health, her eating disorder, her issues, you know, with like her body image. She's like very open with that, and I think we need more of that. She doesn't romanticize it, she just speaks about it openly and uh, honestly. Um, she also makes videos about, you know, like problematic TikTok trends. And like this, this was like a really good moment in her career, in my opinion. She's made like a very short, very to the point apology on the situation with Gabby Hanna and Bianca Devins. Um, I just think she's such a humble, responsible person. She knows the power of her platform and she uses it only like to do good. It's amazing. Next up, Khadija. Um, um, I think they go by them. So I'm gonna say they. They make. Um, they make content about um kind of like diversity. A lot of content about you know. Uh, black people and how they are being portrayed in media and I think it's like important conversations all around um, Just great that we see a voice talking about it. Um, they talk about like um, the Let's say trend of like light-skinned black people being into media like um, you know Being given lead roles so like this video for example is about that about how the mainstream media is like becoming more tolerant to like black people but it's only like a certain type of black people which is like light skin and like colors they talk a lot about colorism it's just it's great definitely the channel is like I want to get more into because I've only seen a few of their videos but they have been like most of like the long form ones and they've been like great you know like very well researched videos so I, I want to get more into their channel next up Christian Leo I've seen most of her videos I think as well uh, she makes a lot of videos on, like veganism um and like sustainability, but it's sprinkled in with like some like socialist, you know, like anti-capitalist um, criticism. Her videos are like very like aesthetically pleasing. Her costumes are always amazing. I think she she thrifts a lot and like buys a lot from like vintage stuff, and it's like it's amazing. She makes me motivated to like try to make my fashion more. I don't know, like open because I've been always um a bit afraid because Eastern Europe is like you can't like dress that weirdly in Eastern Europe you get criticized um and well she's an European as well she's like she's half Greek half Portuguese I think uh, which is, is great we always need like more like Balkan voices Lena Norms um another commentary channel um but like books as well she talks a lot about books um I like her videos about things to know like in your 20s um I like this video because I have an art degree and like I related to a lot of what she was saying. I like her videos on like the royal family. I think she's like very, she approaches things with like a very unique angle. She's made a few videos about like the NHS, about like the COVID vaccine, which is like important information. I don't always agree with what she has to say, but like it doesn't bother me because I think she's very respectful with the way she shares her opinions and it's like someone you should listen to. This video is like great as well. New and Cat makes like super long form video essays, sometimes they're like multiple parts. Um, a lot of them are exposing problematic businesses um, and like lifestyle gurus, um, as well as problems with like the press and with reality TV, just like I like all of this, I've seen all of this. Um, so yeah, I recommend her channel. Tiffany Ferg is kind of the, I think one of the most like renowned or like best known YouTubers in this um, new of commentary which is like more like general media commentary as opposed to public figures commentary although she does talk about public figures sometimes a lot of her videos are political at least partially she has a lot of like class critique as well and it's great um i like her like man life videos i um i like her videos when she analyzes like internet trends so like this one for example is like great this one about popular youtubers is great as well CGI influencers, I want to talk about this in the future as well, so like, 
it's great. She talks about the rise of like different people and different trends. Just all around wholesome channel. She is not problematic at all. She's never been in conflict with people, and she talks about things in like a way that is not thoroughly researched. I love it. Paige, um, she used to go by Petty Page, and now she's Paige Christie. She's Paige Christie and uh, her videos are commentary and drama but um, she always has, you know, like she speaks her mind. She often has unpopular opinions um, but she owns up to them. She's like a very strong person. I think she's she's a great role model. I really loved this video because she's discussing all of her controversies and apologizing for the things that she thinks she's done wrong in her YouTube career and it's like amazing the way that she takes ownership for everything that she thinks she's done wrong. She's exposed um, YouTube channels that are like duplicious, so like this one as well as Spell. Um, and yeah, she, she makes a lot of like drama videos, but she puts like a new twist to them and they're great. Young Dumb, Pony Bun, um, Sarah, she's Polish, which is great. I've always supported and I will always support my fellow Slavic sisters. Talks about Tamberlin Reed and Fully beauty a lot, but she talks about other things. I think she's made like videos on like Gabby Hanna before, Jeffree Star maybe, um, Eugenia Cooney. She also makes like vloggy style videos. She talks about her tattoos a lot, about uh, being vegan. It's like, I think she's a great role model for people as well. She does like something to do with like psychology or psychiatry. Um, I think like a, maybe like a doctorate um, or a master. I don't remember exactly. Um, but she's like a good role model for like, you know, like people who want to get more like into academia. Foreign Man of Foreign Land, this is like a channel I found recently. Um, I think it's amazing to hear voices of black people who are not in the Anglosphere, let's say. Although like, it's very, very important to hear voices of black people from the UK and the US, because obviously BLM is like highly centralized in the US and a bit in the UK. Um, I think it's important to hear voices from black people in other countries as well to understand how international racism is. Um, he makes a lot of videos on like representation to do with like the Caribbean, um, different like, characters or different figures. Um, he makes a lot of videos to do with like black people in general. Um, he often talks about how he's like kind of isolated from the black community because the black community has like a type of blackness that doesn't always match up to his, which is like American Western blackness and um, that he is like he's learned how to like stand his ground and you know talk about his own culture and be proud of it and it's like amazing to see because I know where it's like you know I'm foreign I'm an immigrant and like it makes me feel stronger into like my own culture and my own roots it's just amazing channel. Alizi makes videos about, like she said, whatever she wants. <laughs> a lot of book commentary, a lot of drama, uh, but like very well written essays on like drama on YouTube. Um, Reddit videos, um, TV show reviews, she just makes like everything. She talks about everything. She's like very entertaining. Usually I don't like British humor. Um, it's not like really my thing. But with her, I think she's really funny. Rachel Oates makes um, book commentary and sometimes history commentary. It's like really great channel that she makes. Very thorough video essays as well. I love listening to her because I think she does a more um, complex um, and like better enunciated way of like commenting on books because I've done like a few book reviews but I've done them in like a relaxed format. I didn't want to use like big fancy words just because I wanted it to be like improv but uh, hers are like very far out with like a lot of notes and she's like really really smart. Radiant Brit is um, more of a drama channel as well, but like I would say towards commentary because um, she makes sometimes long form videos reacting to other videos. She talks a lot about um, mummy bloggers and like vloggers and the problems with family channels and um, other YouTubers. Just um, I know some people don't like her because they say, you know, the way she talks is like snarky or whatever. I just think she's like very straightforward and people don't often like that, but I think she's like the way she owns up to who she is and she's like very uh, straightforward. I, I really appreciate that because I think for us it's like a cultural thing to be straightforward. So it's great that she's that way. Cruel World Happy Mind makes videos about kind of exposing scams and problematic people. It used to be an anti-MLM channel but uh, I think she's like kind of um, not like left that area but um, broadened her horizons let's say. Because I used to love her anti MLM videos, but I do still love her current videos. She's um, 
great. She's a fresh mother now, let's say. She's like newly, she's new new mother and she's coming into her own, changing her style. D'Angelo, I think um, everybody who watches commentary have seen at least a few videos of his. Um, he makes really great videos about just all around internet trends, influencers. He's made some long form content, but I think he's like deleted most of it. He made this like free part on like um, James Charles, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, but yeah, it seems to be gone. So I think he's like coming back to like shorter form content and he makes live streams on Twitch as well, but I don't really watch those, but I think he's just great. He's really entertaining. I, I like people who are like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain, like have a unique sense of humor and I think he does. Edwin's generations that people don't like him because they think um, the people he's aligning with are like not okay but Edwin has been really amazing to me personally because I've talked to him before I was a member of his Patreon I only unsubscribed because um, I felt like I wasn't getting the full use of like his Patreon what I needed to but uh, he's amazing I genuinely um, talked to him a few times he's like given me advice on like what to do with my channel before something that like, I'll always cherish is like how genuine he seems to be. He exposed a lot of predators, he talks about problematic people on YouTube, um, he does live streams where he will platform anyone to like hear their side and I think that's more than like I could do. I don't have the emotional power to like platform people like that or like listen to them but he's like amazing for the way he is, his patience. Angelica Olds is like one of the biggest drama channels. Um, she's Polish, living in the UK so I think she shares a lot of like my struggles personally, so I relate to her. I have taken a stance of defending her against Smokey Glow, even though I do acknowledge that she was wrong in that situation. I think she deserves to be defended and that's like hard stance I'm gonna take. Um, I love her video on um, Ellie Darby, um, or Elle Darby, I forgot what the fuck her name is. Anyways, I want to make a video about her too, because like this racist bitch is like, she was hating on Polish people and Angelica being Polish was obviously very slighted by that. I think Angelica gets a lot of hate just for being who she is, like a pretty <laughs> pretty girl um, making drama videos. I think a lot of the male commentary channels are like offended by just like a pretty girl existing and yeah, she doesn't deserve all of that in my opinion. Charlizamo um, makes commentary videos about, well, a lot of different things, but she also has a shop where she makes um, jewelry like necklaces uh, with like, I don't know, like doll faces and like, they're like really creepy necklaces. I have a few of them because I love, I love the weirdness of those. Um, she makes, I think, earrings as well. And I think maybe like some videos that I, I really like are like her videos talking about, you know, like Asian culture. Because I think she lives in maybe Austria or if I'm not wrong. And it's like, always like welcoming to hear, like I said, opportunity, um, to hear like perspectives from people who are not in America just because I'm listening to the American perspectives and I love hearing them, but I think something different is like always welcome because the conversations online are very um, centralized around America. So yeah, I like the videos about like Asian hate and about racism she experienced. I think it's like very enlightening to listen to. Obviously, I wish these videos didn't have to exist on the internet because I wish racism didn't exist at all. But I think she's a very strong lady who's like taking ownership of her identity. She talks about like K-pop and like other things. Um, and you know, like stereotypes and it's just, I don't know, I think it's, she's really interesting. Shane Spear um, makes long form content criticizing media or rather critiquing media, let's say. Um, I like her video on you, I like her video on the horror genre and the female characters in that. I like her discussions when she talks about like Twilight and stuff. I think, um, She's uh, really interesting. She brings like a new perspective to everything. You can tell that her degree is in something to do with like lit because she's very well spoken and like enunciates things very well. Salem um, makes commentary videos. Used to make I think beauty videos, but I wasn't like watching her at the time. She talks a lot about like body positivity and like why you know the problems with that movement. Like, amazing. Talks about influencers. Talks about. Um, fast fashion and the problems with that. I really like this video of hers. I like her male gaze video. Genuinely amazing channel. Again, like another totally researched. I love to watch video essays in case you can tell. Swoop, I found out about her during the controversy with, um, I forgot the other, Mikey I think it was her name, the other makeup channel. Um, 
all the channels were talking about it, about how she was obviously a victim of like racism by her friend. It's like horrible to be in that situation. She makes long form commentary essays as well about different influencers. Just very well researched videos, um, but she also makes short films, which I've watched. They're they're great. There's this one, and I think there was like there's one about like yeah about about like racism, one about um, depression, and one about like her sexual assault. And I feel like part of them obviously I can't relate with racism, but I can relate with the other things. And it's like amazing to see her being so powerful. We've seen the um, talks about books as well as movies, and like makes commentary videos. She's um, a really interesting person, honestly. She's got again unique sense of humor. Uh, she made a lot of videos on like um, the Grisha books, um, the Grisha verse. I've seen uh, I've seen Shadow and Bone, but I haven't like read the books. But um, that's how I found her channel, I think, from like the Shadow and Bone videos. Colin, I've talked to him before. He's posted about Palestine on his Twitter, which I much appreciated. So I talked to him a bit. Um, he used to make videos about like astrology and like other humorous videos. Um, he's also made commentary videos a few times, um, which are like very good because he's a very, you can tell he's like a positive person, he just like radiates positivity. So yeah, I love his channel. Casey Alonso is one of the biggest commentary channels as well when it comes to discussing like general media. I love her tier list about like everything. I could listen to her talk about anything. Sometimes her topics are like so random, like stuff I wouldn't think about. Um, but yeah, they're, they're great. She's funny, I love the way she edits videos. Georgia Dow, I found her channel more recently. She's um, like a psychologist and um, she talks about media and the characters and you know, from a psychological perspective. I found her through her Arcane videos because I loved Arcane, but I have found a few of her other videos being like super insightful and interesting. She's very kind and one thing that I found really interesting about her channel is that every video she makes, she like dresses in a way that is... It's not like exactly a cosplay, but it's like a mini cosplay of a character, so she dresses in a similar theme of like the character that she's talking about, like really cool. It's Keisha. I think a few people are surprised that I'm going to talk about her because I made a video about how I thought um, she was problematic in the past. And I do still stand by like everything I said. Um, I think, yeah, she was biphobic. I'm bisexual. I had the right to be offended at that, but I think... She seems to have progressed past that and I'm willing to like, you know, ignore that because I still enjoy her videos. She's insanely entertaining. She makes just like drama commentary videos. Um, a lot of them, I think she used to make a lot more about like influencers, but now she's um, kind of broadened her horizons to like uh, mainstream celebrities as well. Celebrity couples, celebrity drama. She's like kind of like a TMZ of YouTube, but like less provided than TMZ obviously. Serena, um, I found her videos where she was talking about Sharon Lester, so like all the way at the start of her channel. Now she makes videos about media. She's made a lot of Pretty Little Liars videos, which I loved watching, but she also makes videos about like other TV shows. Um, I don't always agree with her takes, but she's always insanely respectful. Can even see maybe her Sharon videos are not even here anymore. I think she might have deleted them, but. Yeah, that's how I found her channel, way back, like at the start of quarantine, maybe. Vangelina makes short form videos, kind of like a new style on um, YouTube dramas and like other like influencer stuff. They rarely give their opinion, um, but when they do, it's like mostly something I agree with. Um, they talk about a lot of influencers that are like often discussed in like a very very overwhelming negative light they talk about it with like compassion so like Eugenia is an example uh dissociated another example they always bring like empathy and now like politics you got because I have a favorite politi political channel ever he's a communist he's um from ex-Yugoslavia despite the name <laughs> um always respected and loving hearing fellow Balkan voices all of his videos are amazing the videos when he talks about um, fascism are like just incredible historical research. I have watched, I think, all of his channel, unless I missed anything. I love this, all like Slavic stereotypes, because again, nobody talks about it. Nobody like really cares about like how Slavic people are discriminated. Um, this one, great video. The Borat video, amazing. I thought I was the only person on earth to like be offended by this, but it seems not. Just amazing YouTuber. I think if there's like one channel I would recommend from all of this is Yukopnik. 
But I can only say I found more recently, actually, as per you got next recommendation. Um, this channel posts about problems in the Balkans, but like in a way of, you know, more solution oriented. I love this video. I love this video. He's a Marxist as well, so that's like amazing to hear perspectives of other people from my region, you know, and like who align with me on politics. I found this channel recently. They make very good quality documentary style videos, kind of dismantling Western stereotypes on like other people. So there is like a video, this one about North Korea. <laughs> it's like a really good video, amazing. They also have a video about um, kind of making fun of people who believe that there are like, yeah, this one, like Russian hackers on Twitter. <laughs> The, there's like a video, um, where is it? This one <laughs> about rich people's cars, like wow. These people even had the word. This is my, I guess, friend. I hope she feels the same way. She's like, um, we're like internet acquaintances. We've talked many times about just like Eastern Europe. Um, she's a Muslim living in the US with Eastern European roots, married to somebody from Chechnya. Um, so both her partners are Russian. So I find that like I relate to a lot of the things she talks about purely by that. Um, I'm also part of Russia myself. Um, she makes a lot of historical analysis videos because she's like a historian, she's educated in this and people like to put down people <laughs> who are educated, it seems. Um, she talks a lot about like Islam, about um, her perspective as a historian on like different pieces of media, so like this one, Shadow and Bone and this one. As well just like great videos she's also on instagram i think she's more active on instagram so i'd say give her a follow there as well second thought is like another leftist channel um just amazing videos this one is great about war propaganda in hollywood and like how um the cia and like other you know like the military complex is like funding hollywood just great channel this one amazing the Analysis News interviews people from different backgrounds to talk about different leftist subjects. They're one of the few channels that actually interview and like openly welcome the voices of Eastern Europeans, which, again, thank you for listening to us when it comes to problems in our own fucking region, because I'm tired of hearing Americans talk to each other about our region without like even platforming one of us to talk about our own home. Just ridiculous. Eleanor Neal, just great true crime channel. She's very um, mindful of like how she talks about people. She's never disrespectful in her videos. She's just amazing. I think she does a lot of like good work, shedding light to you know like the <laughs> the ways human can be so horrible. Georgia Marie, similar channel, true crime, but also history. Um, she talks a lot about like plagues and like just like very niche historical subject, which I find interesting, about like uh, plagues and natural disasters. That's like a lot of what her channel's history side is about. Bailey Serian, the queen of true crime, basically goes without saying long form true crime videos. She's made this like dark history podcast um, recently. To be honest, I'm not that much a fan of this podcast because it feels like overtly scripted. And like, I, I don't really like that, but um, the stories are very interesting and her personality is great. This is an art channel, um, I don't really watch art channels that much, but I love this type of videos where she discusses different artists' lives and tries to recreate their art style without like copying the actual paintings, you know, like adapting it to her own ideas, but like their art style is just an amazing channel. Mina Rome is um, the food channel I watch the most, she's a vegan, she makes a lot of like just vegan recipes. Just some of them are super unique, some of them are super easy to make if you're not good at cooking. Best Dress is a fashion channel. Um, I uh, know she's been in like, some hot waters before, but I love her content. I love her originality, I love her personality. Mina Le is another fashion channel, but she makes fashion commentary as well. She talks a lot about how fashion trends started and like where they originated from, as well as media and how media portrays fashion. Still the spotlight is more like an anime fashion channel. I really love her costumes, I love her Nana videos. Dakota on Earth is like a travel channel. Um, he travels in very non-mainstream 
places for like travel channels. He's been in Romania actually, my home country, and he's been to Palestine and he like sheds light on the struggles of Palestinians just doing really good work. Living Life with the Sharians is um, a married couple. Um, he's Russian and she's black American and they talk a lot about living in Russia and like the differences between Russia and America. I think they're doing such amazing work putting Russia in like a good light because the narrative in media when it comes to Russia is like very singular and like, you know, it's one-minded and it comes to like how bad Russians are, which is not true at all. They're like amazing people if you actually talk to them. Blair is Bulgarian and she's really funny and I always support fellow Slavic people like I said. She makes um, life advice videos, travel videos, fashion videos, like a lot of everything like lifestyle related. Tati, I found her through um, Zolita because Zolita's sister and now Zolita, like they're close to her. Um, She or I don't know if she goes by she her or they them actually because I think she might be she might have changed her pronouns. So I'm just gonna say they they um talk a lot about the journey of like discovering their sexuality and becoming more comfortable with being androgynous. Because when I started watching this channel, uh, they used to be a very feminine presenting person and doing modeling, having long hair and all that, and now they have gotten a couple of tattoos, short hair, um, they're like becoming more comfortable with themselves and then their own skin, it's amazing to see. Now, Fnatic is a team I've supported in esports for a long time, so I'm, it goes without saying I have to recommend because I've been a fan for years. Queen's Ideas is mainly Dune analysis channel, so he talks about the Dune books as well as the Dune um, media portraits like film, um, well films the miniseries and whatever and he used to talk about Song of Ice and Fire slash Game of Thrones a lot so that's how I found the channel and lastly Shirley Curry is um this elderly lady who's like really lovely she makes videos on like Skyrim um I just think she's she's really wholesome and like as somebody who doesn't get to see my grandma very often I feel very connected to seeing someone who like resembles my grandma it's like really wholesome to watch this is not a channel I watch a lot, but like sometimes when I feel nostalgic and I can miss my grandma, I watch this channel. So yeah, these are 50 channels that I like. So let me know if you are a fan of any of this or if you decided to watch any of this as per my advice. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you like it, comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more. Bye!